His Excellency Martial Paul Ikonga, Commissioner for Human Resources, Science and Technology. His Excellency African Union Commission. His Excellency Ambassador Gary Quince, Head of Delegation of the European Union to the African Union. Excellencies, Ambassadors for African Union, Director of Human Resources, Science, Technology, and Director of Women and Gender Development, participants of the AIDS African Union pre-summit on gender. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Professor Hafida Mezouk Baba Hamid from Algeria, on my own behalf, I want to thank the African Union for nominating us for the African Union Kwame Nkrumah Scientific Award for women for 2015. Globally, many women have achieved in the different fields of science. The contribution of women to the growth of science is remarkable. Looking back to the discoveries and inventions, we can get back to the first Nobel Prize winner in physics, Madame Marie Curie. To date, we have some 50 women Nobel Prize Lawrence, 17 National Science and Medicine. In 2004, Africa had the first Nobel Prize laureate, Professor Wagani Matai from Kenya, who was an advocate of the conservation of the environment through planting, planting trees in millions, motivating women, farmers, and the community at large. Let her soul rest in peace. We are in Ethiopia where higher education is only about 60 years old. The number of women who are engaged in natural sciences fields is very limited, though there is a good uh, tendency of high enrollment in the last few years. There is desperation in increasing the, the number of women researchers, scientists, and scholars, not only in Ethiopia, but many, many parts of Africa as well. Challenges women face is multifaceted. They have responsibilities at the family level and highly engaged in social affairs. The challenge we face in the 21st century is alarming pandemic diseases, environmental degradation in the face of depleted resources, global warming, and the challenge is huge for developing nations of the world. We need women scientists who can take up the challenge and make a difference in the development processes of their respective nations. Women achievers are those that have come out and building or amid such multiple responsibilities and challenges. The 21st century is indeed a unique in the sense that it is an era of ICT. The World Wide Web is highly instrumental in disseminating and availing scientific information, availability of teaching materials, electronic journals, and the exchange of information. Girls who are in the field of science have a greater opportunity if they are determined to work hard and exploit available resources and believe in the idea that they can be successful. In my, in many, in my many years of research engagement, I was lucky to go to many parts of Ethiopia. I keenly watch and uh, in the interest in the eyes of the small children and their mothers, and I have seen eager girls who go to school and pondered in my thoughts and wished that some of these girls will make it through the higher education and become biologists, mathematicians, chemists, and so on. In conclusion, we need to motivate girls from early age and inculcate the culture of science in the equation system. African governments should be proactive in inspiring and supporting the implementation of favorable policies for growth of science, technology, and innovation. Other actors such as professional associations, societies, could also be instrumental in this endeavor. I thank you very much.